Hi guys, this is Maggie from Magnificent Tarot and I am back to do another mid-monthly for the sign of Aquarius. Damn, that card wanted to come out. Sorry you guys, let's get that in focus for you. This is the general reading. Um, this is going to cover the 15th into the 31st of December. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Yeah, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. This is going to be three card oracle spread, past, present, future layout. Um, and the bottom of the deck card will be of the overall energy. I might clarify these cards with more oracle cards depending on how I feel or what I'm being led to or guided to um, do. Okay, you guys. So the first card out is the seven chakra, crown chakra, archangel URL, Uriel. Okay, let's get my shuffling together. Spirit, give me two more cards for present and future energies. Thank you. So the two cards being presented by Spirit is arc, the fourth um, chakra, the heart chakra, heart center, and the man holding a coin here. Okay. And the bottom of the deck card is the garden and the gate, and it's in the upright. So this is about being afraid of taking a risk. It's like a full card energy. It's like you're in a, you know... Security of your financial garden. You are financially secure. Usually this card represents someone that's financially secure um, in, in a job or a home situation or relationship. Um, but they're not fulfilled. They're just there because it's it brings some type of uh, a sense of security or safety. But really, there's something outside of the gate that they, they are afraid to experience. So this is about taking a risk, opening up the gate and and going on a new journey to find their true fulfillment and happiness. We have the Ten of Pentacles being presented here, as I said that. Finding their ultimate fulfillment, something that's going to bring long-term fulfillment and stability. Okay, that's where they're at, they're just there because they're afraid of going outside of that, um, whatever that is. Okay, so let's see what's being presented. Remember, the mid-monthlies are general energy, so it can... Bring up health, finances, career, and love. I feel like for you guys, there's something that had, you know, you were with the seven chakra, crown chakra. It's about enlightenment and spiritual awakening has taken place. Your crown chakra is activated. And I feel like you are, this is about clarity of thought. This is about, um, well, spirit connections, intuition, and inspiration. Um, when this card is in the upright, um, it indicates an open and free-flowing channel of information and inspiration from the wonderful beings in the spirit world. This could also be a time of great intuition for you and guidance from your higher awareness. So allow yourself to quiet your mind and listen. Now is a great time to get connected. The assistance from spirit is great. And whether it's the presence of an, of an ascended master, a powerful angel like URL, or just a loving friend or family member in spirit, their love and willingness to assist is always there. Even... Um, they even open up, um, they even open you to the uh, Akashic Records, the storehouse of all information. This connection is open now and you will find that your own spirit and the spirits of those around you will be able to provide the answers you seek and the blessings you desire and deserve. So this is about you gaining clarity. This is about you. Your intuition is popping. Um, your spirit guides are working in your favor. They're bringing you information, synchronicities. They're, they're giving you guidance. And this is about this. You're like a. There. You're like. You know. Your crown chakra is open, and you're able to channel information from the spirit world from your spiritual team. Um, you may have had somebody that passed on um, some time before. It feels like there's somebody around you offering you a lot of guidance and help at this time with the uh, seven chakra card here. Let's clarify it. Um, yeah, they're offering you some clarity and, 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 and assistance because you've been going through a, a rough time. You've been feeling anxiety. You've been feeling trapped in a situation mentally. You maybe um, also have experienced a lot of stress or mental anguish. Or they're saying that the answers you seek are being presented to you. They're, they're giving you the assistance that you're requesting. And they're trying to bring a victory or success to you. Um, but there is a feeling of emotional loss. This could be, you may have lost someone. There's a broken, you have a broken heart here. Let's see if there's any grief or loss. Uh, clarify the Ace of Cups reverse. What is this Ace of Cups? 
Sometimes the cards come out reversed, but they're not. They, they're still upright. Queen of Wands. That black cat is always letting me know this is like a spirit guide. You know, this is about her being a keen and very psychic, very intuitive. When she's in the reverse, she's not on top of her game. Yeah, you're, somebody rejected you. Someone hurt you. You lost confidence in yourself. You know, she's usually confident. She's usually very um, sure of herself, very confident. You know, she's very charismatic, very um, bright, happy. Um, there was some uh, energy of discontent and disappointment here in the past. And I feel like, you know, your intuition has been trying to guide you to move on from this energy of feeling trapped and stuck. And they're trying to open you up here. They're trying to offer you this cup. And I feel like now you're ready to accept this offer. And now you're ready for a new start. Because before you weren't taking this cup, you missed an opportunity with uh, maybe a new love interest. You may have rejected a Leo, Aquarius, or someone with fire in their chart or Leo in their chart. Because the Six of Swans and the Queen of Wands are both Leo cards. Or this could have been um, Aries or Aquarius, another Aquarius. And I feel like now you're ready for this new start. Because remember, I started off saying with the garden and the gate being the overall energy that you were scared to take a risk of some sort. So the full card is great. And it was a risk. It looked like it was a financial risk for some. And for some, it was a risk of getting into something committed, a partnership, financial partnership, or um, marrying someone. Someone didn't, or getting into a commitment. Some of you guys have a fear of commitment. Queen of Wands, you know, would been, you know, would depict that someone fearing commitment. But I feel like now you're ready. You're wanting to come back, or um, someone wants to come back. This could have been the other person wants to come back and give you the stability. I mean, I feel like now you're 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 open to taking this offer, whereas before you rejected it or ignored it. Now we have the Four Chakra coming in the reverse here. I mean, it's very fitting because we have the Ace of Cups reverse. So. Some of you guys are still, you know, even though this crown chakra card is an upright, I feel like some of you guys are still not listening to your intuition. The queen of wands, you know, reverse is not listening to your intuition. The page of cups, not listening to your intuition. That's a very intuitive card here. That's about listening to your intuition to solve problems. Yeah. And here's the king of wands in reverse. Definitely has to do with some type of solid foundation. Um... Maybe there was a breakup or a divorce. Five of Swords and Two of Swords. We have a pair, a Queen and a King came out. Ending of a, a long committed relationship. Are you needing to end a committed relationship that you're not fulfilled in with the Ace of Cups reverse? You're needing to make, you know, trust your intuition about that, making a decision. I'm sorry, you guys can't see all the cards. You are needing to trust your intuition about making a decision to end a long-term partnership or commitment. And I feel like you guys are scared to take that risk because you might be financially secured or it may be due to money. Okay, Aquarius? Yeah, there needs to be an ending and you're needing to move on or move away from that situation. Things may be up in the air. There may be fast, there may be communication back and forth with this person about ending or you want to communicate about ending because you're not fulfilled in that and it feels like you're tired of the conflict and you have made a decision or you're needing to make a decision about that let's clarify the eight of wands what is this fast um communication or this fast action this is usually communication yeah this is communication about ending a cycle yeah so there is a fear about walking away eight of cups you're needing to trust your intuition. You're needing to go in here and take on the energies of the um, hermit. And you're needing to stop resisting this change. This is self-deception. You're trying to work on this um, union. And there may be a third party involved, but it's not working. You have options. You need to trust your intuition. This is about seven is a very spiritual number. This is about trusting your intuition. You have a lot on your plate. You know, you're fearing the unknown here. He's fearing, he's confused. And there is this card here. There's this cup here and it's the cup for the unknown. 
And you may be afraid of the unknown, and that's why you don't want to take that leap. Okay? So the relationship that you're in is not providing you any stability. I feel like some of you guys may be involved with someone that's in a third party. You may be involved with someone that's already in a commitment, and you're not being fulfilled by that third party situation. And it's time for you to let it go. Clarify the fourth chakra in reverse. Yeah. You're no longer wanting to put work into the situation because whoever you're dealing with is in and out of your life, in and out, in and out. And they're not offering you any type of stability. Let's see what's under guarding in the gate. Yeah, a woman holding a heart. Reverse. And for some of you guys, this is about ending a contract or marriage because you don't feel safe and secure where you're at. You're lacking the stability that you want within that particular union. Woman holding a heart is is... You know, dealing a woman dealing with emotional issues. This card here. I'm gonna pull uh, the, some, the description from the book for that card. So in the reverse, um, this card is about um, difficulty difficulty in family matters or close friendships or dealing with. Um, this is about being emotionally overwhelmed, and you may feel as though your love life is turned upside down. Or you may be having difficulties in family member, family matters or close friendship. And if this is the case, it's time to let go or resolve things now. There's also a possibility that this woman reverses someone who brings a negative emotional influence in your life. There may be jealousy, resentments, or even, um, or even more subtle manipulations going on. Don't take things personal, but endeavor to bring greater clarity and calm self-empowerment to the situation now. And always remember to bring a loving, heartfelt energy to yourself. So you can be dealing with uh, a situation where there's a woman meddling in your relationship, okay? Or you may be, if you're a man, you may be dealing with a woman that doesn't have good intentions. I feel like there's some jealousy, resentment um, being presented, or you may be jealous or resentful. Um, again, if you're in a third party, I feel like it's toxic. Someone just is coming in and out, in and out. Here, and they're not putting in the work that is needed and this is breaking your heart. It's causing you to feel overwhelmed emotionally. And you have a decision to make about leaving what no longer serves you, but you're scared. You're scared of taking this risk. Clarify. Um, we're going to clarify this card here. The Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. I apologize for the glare, you guys. Let me zoom out a little. I apologize for the glare. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Okay, I feel like this card wants to come out. Ooh, Queen of Wands. Yeah, getting your confidence back. Standing in your power. Let's see if that will help a little bit. Sorry, I got smudges all over my table. Okay, standing in your power. Knowing your worth. Being confident. Clarify. Mm -mm. Thanks. <laughs> You're focusing on the future. You're standing your, you know, standing firm, drawing the line in the sand, and you're saying no more. You don't want to be stagnant. You don't want to feel restricted anymore. We have the tower, the empress, the star reverse, the the nine of pentacles reverse, and the eight of cups. So what I feel like is the tower is coming in to break down anything that doesn't serve you, anything, you know. It's a change coming in. The Empress is here because this is something that is, you know, you've been waiting for a long time. You've been trying to manifest something you've been waiting on here because you're not happy here with the star card. You're not fulfilling. You're losing hope in this situation, this relationship or this third party partnership. You're not fulfilled. You're not satisfied. And it's time for you to walk away and leave that you're having difficulties, but you're needing to make a decision or somebody wants to. Um, somebody wants to come in and they're not satisfied in that situation here because the Empress, when she shows up, usually with another woman car, a woman holding a heart, um, this means there's two women involved and that person may not be satisfied in that situation. They want to come in and, and let you know that they're not satisfied and they want to end the cycle with that person. They're saying that they want to, they want to stop the juggling and come back in here. They thought the grass was greener, but it wasn't. So now we have the future potential being this man holding a coin here. Okay, 
Okay. So the future potential is this man holding a coin. These were trying to come out, but I'm going to shuffle. Why can't I shuffle? All my cards are like mixed up. Hold on. Oh, I put these in backwards. That's why. Wow, I can't shuffle <laughs> the cards. Try that again. I don't know what's going on, you guys. What's going on with you guys? Just, I can't get the cards shuffled. What about the man holding a coin? So this usually means a man dealing with money. Damn, why does car keep coming out? The sat dissatisfaction or insecurity or lack of confidence. Nine of nine of pinnacles. We have the nine of cups, the nine of pinnacles, and the empress again. Something about wish fulfillment. This car flipped over again, juggling. Oh, what am I missing? These are the same cards coming back up. Hmm. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So let's let's look at the man holding a coin first. Card 43 is about a male connection, money, health, or value. Um, in the upright, it's about a man. Um, um, furthering his goals, receiving increase, increased health, money, or value in his life. Greater success is on its way when you take control of your own finances and act. This card of upright can in, uh, also reveal the assistance of a financial advisor or a healer or who, of whom you already know or soon to meet. This man is helpful and may bring sage advice concerning the action you need to take. Next, be open to this person showing up with support, but always turn to your own intuitive guidance to weigh the information you receive. This could also signify a new love interest with a wealthy man or a man from work. So yeah, this could be a new love interest coming in, trying to offer you some type of stability. Um, if this is financial related, um, for some of you men, your you know money's going to be looking way better. The you're you know like I say, you're getting intuitive hits about taking risk, and this could be financial risk because right here she's in the garden and she this is about financial abundance, taking a risk for and then the risk is going to bring in more financial abundance for some of you guys. Some of you guys may have taken some type of loss that had caused you to be emotionally overwhelmed or caused a blockage in your heart center. Um, this loss could have been someone taking advantage of you financially. A woman that wasn't acting in your own best interest. Um, now, if you're a woman, this is about taking a risk on love. Somebody wants to come in and offer you some fulfillment and happiness. This is wish fulfillment. And want to take you out of the, you know, take you out of this state of being single, or this is you being a little insecure or a little afraid to take a risk here, not wanting to be part of a third party, or maybe not afraid of investing time or working on a connection because it is third party related. There may be some juggling. Somebody may already be in a commitment. Let me get some more clarity here. Clarify the two of pentacles. What is being juggled, please? Some of you guys are juggling finances, okay? Some of you guys are feeling dissatisfied when it comes or disappointed when it comes to a financial matter um, because you didn't trust your intuition when it came to taking a risk or taking advantage of a new opportunity or taking advice from someone. We did see the um, hermit card. Clarify the two of pentacles. Maybe someone gave you bad advice um, and you took a financial loss because of it. I feel like something is flipped over. We have the... Um, Ace of Cups at the bottom. No, nothing's flipped. But now, I feel like there's stability coming in with the Empress here. You got rid of some a partnership or you ended a partnership where somebody was taking advantage of you financially. Somebody was juggling finances or not being fair. The finances or how they were being distributed wasn't balanced. 
with the empress here when it comes to love. I feel like somebody sees you as the empress. Someone sees you as stable, beautiful. Um, they see you as very um, generous, loving. They see competition or they feel like, you know, they're in competition with other people. Ace of Cups, something bringing in fulfillment. Someone wanting to offer a new, a new beginning in love. But they feel like there may be competition here. You may be dealing with a Scorpio. Or they're wanting to end conflict with you. There may have been a conflict or some type of conflict. But they want that to end. Because we have the Ten of Cups here. So somebody is definitely wanting a change here. They're wanting to offer stability. We have 111. Aquarius, I always get that in your readings. Where there was a fear of commitment, I feel out like now you're open to it because you're dissatisfied. You're dissatisfied. I feel like you were dealing with a woman that was taking advantage of you for your money. You were dealing with someone that was only with you because of money. Or you were dealing with a woman because of her wealth. So we definitely see 111, 10, you know, 10, 10, and a 1. Clarify these three cards, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Why are these being presented? Look, see, I can't make this shit up, you guys. Those are being, those, I asked to clarify all three and lovers came out. Somebody wants a partnership, a union with you. They want to apologize for the way they treated you. They're wanting to let you know that they're cutting out the third party. This is for some of you guys. Tell me why the three of swords is here. Someone wants to come towards you and, and speak truth to you about a situation. Clarify the three of swords. Why is the three of swords being presented reverse here, please? They want to, you know, they want to, you know, make up for the betrayal. And this is mental energy. This heartbreak is mental here. It's like, it's more like thinking about the heartbreak with the three of swords. The five of cups is feeling it for me. Yeah, they want to come out of the cold. Yeah, they do. They don't want you to reject them. Or you may be missing this opportunity here because you may reject them. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles reverse. I was at the bottom of the deck, by the way. Ooh. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. I really feel like this is a missed opportunity or can be one. Um, because like I said, this person may have been very... Yeah, Tower Magician. They may have broken up with you. There could have been a big Tower moment. Yeah. But they don't want to be in conflict anymore. You definitely ended. They're afraid of a Tower moment with you. They're afraid. They don't, they are, they're afraid of this. They're afraid that you might reject their offer. They don't want to be in conflict with you. They don't want to argue with you. They don't want to make you upset. Whoever this person is, they are wanting you to know that they've changed with the tower. They've changed with the death card. They want to let you know that they're a new person and they know they made a mistake. This person may have um, financially before when they were with you. They weren't secure financially, so they couldn't offer you the commitment that you wanted. I feel like they, for some of you guys, this person feels stable, and they needed they they needed to end a, a contract or another mar a marriage or a commitment a committed partnership with someone else, and that was stalling. Yeah, see, you may have been dealing with a Leo. I'm just saying that you know they want to come back in. They want to take off action. But they're afraid that you might not forgive them and not take them out of the out from the cold. They're afraid that you might not show them any compassion. They're lacking the confidence. You know, they think that maybe you won't. You don't want to come. You 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 don't want to take them back. Clarify the five of pentacles reverse. For some of you guys, this is your financial situation getting better. You know. Yeah, they're afraid that they may miss this opportunity with you because you may not take them back. Here, it might not be a success. Why is it not? Why is this, these cards being presented? Ten of um, Pentacles. 
they they want to give you stability, but they feel like you're not going to take them back. Why is um, Aquarius um, scared that this person won't take them back? They feel like you may have started something new with someone else. Oh, yeah, they're afraid that there might be conflict because... Two of Cups. They might think you started something new with someone else. They might think that there's competition. Or this is you. Remember, this could be vice versa. This is you being afraid to come towards someone because you feel like that person's going to reject you. But there's unfinished business here. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, she's suspicious. She doesn't trust. She may think that you're just coming in and out like you used to. But you really do want to offer an apology and you do want a new cycle. You want to start over. But you're afraid, Aquarius. This could be you or the person that this person doesn't love you anymore. But I do see that they do love you, but they are just mad. <laughs> They're mad because the five of wands is, you know, games and mind games or competition or me wanting to win. Or arguing or something. There it is again. It keeps coming out. Yeah. So there will be some type of judgment, decision. And this decision is going to release you from that fear of coming towards this person and speaking your truth. Okay. You're going to make the decision and want to, you're going to make that offer of commitment anyways. Aquarius or cross watcher. You're going to get out of that fear. Because your intuition is telling you it's a good idea. Door to happiness and healing is reversed. Card 34. Let me read that really quick. In the reverse, you may be feeling stuck where your personal intentions are concerned. Self-mastery and discipline may be hard to achieve right now. Or specific plans for personal change may be being blocked. Remember that your intentions need to be clear and unconflicted. Whatever you're working on, you need to know that you are capable of achieving it and that you deserve it. Put your heart into your plans and changes you desire. Realize that you are worth your own time and effort. The new beginning you seek will come with your own focus and patient determination. I can't make this shit up. The card just said it. Don't be afraid. You're scared that this person's not going to take you back. That's just in your head. That three of swords energy is mental. Yeah, you may have hurt this person, but if you come back and, and you're honest with the Page of Swords, you come back and communicate honestly and release yourself from this fear of taking this risk, then you will have the success you want. Okay? The new beginning, you can create it. But it's up to you. So let's see what the challenge is. The magician. <laughs> being confident. Being manifesting it. The hangman in reverse again. Letting go of that fear, of that insecurity, okay? Letting go of the fear of commitment, too, for some of you guys. Some of you guys want to offer a commitment, but you're scared. Some of you guys need to end the commitment, and you're fearing ending the commitment as well. So there's, you know, there's, I'm picking up energies from multiple people. Feeling like you're going to be rejected. Feeling like someone is going to be unfair. Clarify the hangman reverse here. Thank you. See? There's a little confusion. But I feel like the hermit is you coming out of the hermit mode. You're gaining, gaining the wisdom and clarity that you need to come come in and, and offer. And see, you have this, the, the sixth chakra, meaning that your intuition is letting you know. Yes, take that risk. Manifest it with the magician. You have all the tools you need to achieve your goal. Clarify the magician, please. Dang, son. <laughs> three, three of pentacles and the five of cups reverse. You know, you're needing to put in more work and effort. You feel like this person won't cooperate. You really do. But I have a full of fortune and the eight of swords. You're needing to end that cycle of, of being trapped and stuck. The a hangman reverses, getting out of that stuckness. That card just said it, the one that I just read. You may feel stuck where your personal intentions are concerned. You know, your thoughts need to be clear and unconflicted. Let go of this, you know, this energy of harping the past and take a risk.